Hey guys, this is Ryan from uh, Bigfoot RC. Uh, just coming to you today with uh, this Atlas 6x6. Hope everyone's doing good out there. Um, so uh, I'm going to do the close up, uh, kind of look up on it, what I did in the unboxing portion um, in a second. So uh, yeah, I just got this guy uh, just not too long ago and I uh, just want to go over with you guys. I know there's been a ton of reviews on this one, but I just figured I'd put it on my channel and just kind of give you guys my opinion. So. Alright guys, uh, let's get to it. Alright guys, so this is the FMS Atlas 6x6. So this is the uh, unboxing basically. I already already took it out obviously, but I'm just going to show you guys how it comes. Here, let me pop this thing open here. Okay, pretty tight fit. Nice uh, packaging. Really protective. So here it is. Um, obviously the radio and stuff would come in here and this is it itself. Uh, it's not, you know, super fancy radio, pretty basic radio. Uh, at least it's still kind of hobby grade-ish. So, it takes AAA batteries. Um, this one did not come with AAA batteries. Uh, I didn't get a completely new kit, but it was barely used, so not sure if it came with them. But um, yeah, you just kind of put this on like this, and it snaps in there, and then, uh, yeah, just kind of basic trims and stuff, nothing fancy. That's the one it comes with. And uh, I'll show you guys what actually happened with the transmitter. So let's put this aside. That's the nice casing. And here it is, guys. So just a quick look on the side. Tires are uh, pretty soft. Uh, they give you a spare tire, which is kind of cool. It's actually usable. So it's kind of cool looking, uh, really cool scale look on this thing. So also you guys can see just so uh, we can see better. I took the screws off. The, the body actually, uh, there's screws in the front that holds it down. I just took those off so we can see. But yeah, really scale looks, really cool looking. Um, and I, you know, I love how it looks. It's, uh, it's just one of those vehicles that's just uh, pretty scale looking out of the box. Um, so... Here's with the top off here. So there's a magnet back here that holds it on. As you guys can see right here, there's the magnet strip. And then the body's got the screws, but I took the screws off so we can look under the hood here. So, and as you can see, this is not the stock ESC. Um, I drove it a little bit with the stock setup, and uh, honestly, I was not impressed. It was a little jumpy and not very proportional. Uh, especially with if you're gonna crawl with this, so I cannot stand it. Um, I talked to a few guys online, and I guess some of the guys will do the SCX24 ESE combo, ESE control combo uh, unit. This one is out of another, um, I believe it's a other different crawler. Um, it's a ECX crawler. I forgot what it's called, but. Um, I tried this one. This one's a little better. Uh, it's a little bulky though, as you can see. It kind of takes up the room, but. Um, there is some decent room to, there's a panel actually in here, and you can set the ESC on this. So you actually have a lot of room on here, it's a little overkill, but works for now. And uh, yeah, besides that, uh, it comes with a 2S battery. I changed the connector on it, I got some XT30s on here. And um, as you guys can see here, I'll show you the battery. Um, that is a 7.4 volt 600 milliamp. So, does not have a C rating, but I mean, probably don't really need a high C rating since it's just a crawler. It's got the aluminum side chassis here. It's actually pretty nice. Um, so yeah, besides that, you can see the little transmission in there, brushed motor. Um, like I said, it's nice overall. Um, a little disappointed with the ESC, but you know, it's not a super expensive model so not much of a huge deal with that let me just stick this on I'll switch over here and of course you see how messy everything is with that large ESC unit but like I said I could not stand the stock one so maybe some people are okay with the stock one but you know I'm, I guess I'm uh, extra picky in that way body's nice very scale got the little pretend wiper blades here and there's the lights I'll turn those lights on in a second but as you can see it's um it's got pretty good travel. It's not bad for uh, you know, like a not very expensive six by six. So, and then uh, see the back, decent travel, you know, squishy. 
And um, let me show you guys what they got in the box, at least what I got. I don't know. Like I said, I got this one a little differently. So uh, this was slightly used as uh, repair manual. Oh, excuse me, not the repair manual, the owner's manual. The parts explosion, kind of like uh, how the radio works and all that stuff. So, and we got some uh, hard springs. So, if you want a little stiffer springs on those shocks, um, there you go. So, you got them right there. Um, and then, just a quick comparison here that's the ECI put in, which in this case, with a crawler, you might, the extra weight might help it actually. Um, and that's the stock one. So, there you go guys, huge difference. This one just, I don't know, it was very hard to keep it kind of crawling at a slow speed and steady. So I guess if you want perfect slow speed, you could put the Fury Tech um, aluminum uh, transmission with metal gears and the brushless motor. If you want to go crazy, they do make that for this. And some guys do do the, because uh, there's not many diff upgrades or, you know, Combos on here for you know like the brush or excuse me the brass brass stuff on it um, You can do SCX 24 diffs. I guess it's just a whole you know if you want to go crazy um, I would probably just keep the stock to be honest with you. Maybe do a couple things, but nothing crazy That's just me though. You know some people think it's fun. So uh, Let me show you guys the lights here All right, let me see here all right, so there we go. Let's see if I can toss this bad boy in here. So, right, not quite the best fit since it's unscrewed. So, excuse me if it doesn't look right, but I'm trying my best here. All right, that fit pretty well. So, as you can see, nice. Um, it's not the you know the typical. LED blue light, uh, bluish white, and they got the actual uh, kind of scale looking kind of amber. And then there's the tail lights, which uh, pretty bright actually, surprisingly. So, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool looking. I do like it. And there's a whole bunch of like little 3D printed beds and stuff on Etsy, and you can change some of that stuff. And overall, it's pretty cool. You know, nothing crazy. Um, I have heard of the diffs, I guess somehow I have not done it yet, I've only driven it a couple times, so uh, apparently some guys have stripped the diff gears, they're all plastic, so it's kind of a negative, but you know, what do you expect, you know, it's not a too highly priced um, vehicle, so overall guys, it's really cool, um, and uh, I like it so far, you know, and then uh, also just to show you guys, there's a steering servo, so. All right there, it's got the links right there. So pretty normal setup for a uh, you know one of these mini crawlers. Nothing crazy. I like the little chrome addition on these. It actually, really is metal, so that's kind of cool. Not plastic painted or something like that. Looks like maybe you can attach some stuff. Maybe some scale stuff. Maybe it just looks like that. They got little holes like something's you know, possibly mounted there, but uh, yeah, overall, cool. I like it, and uh, I did drive it a little bit, but I'm gonna show you guys a lot more footage here, so uh, give you guys an idea here. So, uh, I mean, that does, does about it uh, for the review. Um, the battery lasts a very long time since it's a crawler, so that's another thing. Also, you can get a bigger battery tray. There's a 3D print uh, bigger battery trays for these, so if you want to get a bigger battery in there. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Um, just to compare, actually, the size difference here. So there are those two. That is the SCX24 Jeep Gladiator. This is actually the extended SCX24. And that is the 6x6, so it is a little bit longer. So, and then uh, size, so, you know, it's a considerable difference. But um, overall, you know, you can, it's pretty scale to the size. So, um, like I said, a lot of guys put the, um, the SCX ESC unit into here, and it does pretty good job, so. All right, guys, um, that's about it. Um, not much to discuss on this guy, so. 
And uh, I'm going to go right to the extra footage. So hopefully you guys like the footage. Uh, I have a perfect little park next to me and uh, do a little rock crawling on the rocks. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, and hope you enjoy the, uh, the rock crawling footage. Thanks. scale um, so you know I like it it's a good little uh, crawler to add to the fleet so uh, yeah so no complaints here um, if you guys uh, want to know where to get it and uh, how to get it I'm gonna post a link to buy it um, so I'm not sure uh, how many vendors are out there that sell this guy still so I got mine off eBay so um, yeah so I uh, hope you guys are doing well um, Subscribe, please. Like, uh, give me a comment. See how you guys like it. Uh, for you guys already have it, what have you guys done to it? So, I don't know if you guys, anybody out there has got one of these, does some mods. Uh, maybe I should be doing the mods. I don't know. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, catch you on the next video.